Hey you, the one looking at the screen, do you think you're prepared for the zombie apocalypse? Well if not, then you should probably stick around. Cause I'm about to bring you another epic Americanized zombie video. Zombie deer have been spotted across the US and some people out there might have already been infected, waiting to turn into zombies in the near future. Machine guns might get a little bit too expensive and surviving the apocalypse is certainly going to be rough. Not everything is going to be easily obtainable, but that doesn't mean you can't survive just because you're broke. It's about what you spend your money on that's important and not how much stuff you got. From inexpensive weapon alternatives to the most affordable and nutritious food you can buy. Here is Surviving the Zombie Apocalypse on a Budget. Number 11. Top Ramen Since one of the best food sources for hunters could actually be the cause for the zombie apocalypse, it's important to have a food source that doesn't come from the wild. Often enjoyed by college students or other people on a budget, Top Ramen certainly makes our list for its nearly unlimited shelf life. It's extremely low price and you don't have to be a 5 star chef to cook it. Top Ramen has also been used as currency in prison, so it's easy to imagine how this could be a useful trading item during the zombie apocalypse. However, it is sort of high in sodium and lacks too much nutritional value. However, while most modern day diets encourage low calories during the zombie apocalypse, they are much more important and luckily, ramen is high on them. Top Ramen can be very versatile and eaten in many different ways. It can even be cooked as pizza if cheese is available. You just might not want to eat it though every day if possible. Number 10. Freeze Dried Food We know what you're thinking, you can't survive solely off of Top Ramen and you'll need some kind of protein to make sure your muscles are in zombie fighting form. Freeze dried food isn't the tastiest prepper food to eat out there, but it'll be safe and it'll still have enough nutritional value to keep you going. Not only that, but it'll basically never go bad. Something you should consider to buy in bulk might be freeze dried milk. It's high in protein, calcium, vitamin D, vitamin A, and riboflavin. This bucket we see here contains 302 servings and a shelf life of 25 years. It contains 19 gallons of powder for $139. While that might seem like a little bit high of a price for powdered milk, food will certainly be a priority and you'll be happy you spent the cash here. It could be the only possible way to have dairy during an apocalyptic time, especially if the cows turn into zombies. Don't underestimate powdered milk guys, there's even ways to make cheese out of it. Other foods we suggest you getting that are freeze dried include some freeze dried vegetables and fruit. Number 9. Canned Food Most of the time, canned food doesn't taste quite like it does when it's made fresh, but it turns out that survivors can't always be choosers. While freeze dried food might be a good option, you still need some fiber in your diet as well as a reliable source of vitamin C. Now is your time to stock up on things such as canned pineapple and peaches for your daily fruit intake. Canned fruit certainly won't last as long as freeze dried fruit, but it's still good at least a year or two after you buy it. Expiration dates are sort of like a suggestion on canned food, but don't eat it if the can is slightly rusted and if it's leaking. You also want to make sure that the sides of the lids are not bulging. It's also a good idea to give it the old sniff test to see if it's still edible. Make sure you also get some foods that you enjoy eating so you don't completely lose morale. Number 8. Hammers Consider hammers and mallets to be the bread and butter of your zombie melee weapons. With it being an extremely cheap tool with both sides being an effective killing instrument, you should be able to afford multiple. The claw part can pierce through skull and act like a claw. Mallets can be quite heavy and easily thrown to knock over a zombie. Throwing mallets can be quite accurate and effective within 10 yards. Also, if you're trapped within a closed space, a mallet might be strong enough to break through some doors. Some plastic hammers are actually available that have been proven to be effective during experiments that are as cheap as 50 cents each from Walmart. Keep some duct tape handy to repair them in case they break. Number 7. Hatchet Multi-Tool So we already know that hammers will be an effective weapon as well as hatchets, so why not kill two zombies with one tool and get a hatchet multi-tool to help you save some cash? Here we see on Amazon a 3-in-1 Universal Emergency Survival Hatchet Hammer Pry Bar Utility Tool which can certainly come in handy. You also get the added benefit of a pry bar which can help you when you need to bust through a locked door or remove some nails. It appears to be the ultimate bargain only costing $11.57. It's made of tough steel and might require you to sharpen it after it's delivered but for that price you can't go wrong. 
They're not insanely large, but you don't want to weigh yourself down too much with equipment in any case, weighing only in at one pound. It's also coated to be rust resistant as well. Number 6. Cold Steel Tactical Katana No other sword is known for its slicing capabilities and there's no doubt that it would take a zombie's head right off its shoulders. The only problem is that a finely handcrafted katana from Japan is going to ruin your budget and they require strict maintenance to be effective. Who's got 6 or 7 thousand laying around for the real deal? You might as well go with a cheaper option that's still very practical and go with the Cold Steel Tactical Katana. It's meant to function as a machete but still takes the form of the infamous samurai sword that you'll need in your arsenal of melee weapons. Cutting tests on YouTube seem to show that it's extremely effective against ballistic gel, rope, and a cow skull. This means that it should be effective against zombies, should. You get this slicing machine for only about 50 bucks, making it one of the better options we came across. Number 5. Slingshot Okay, so you need some ranged weapons now and you're not too sure how well it's going to work out with a firearm since you might run out of ammo and that noise might attract attention from zombies. Don't underestimate the potential with a slingshot with its ability to be able to shoot just about anything as ammo. Not only that, but they're extremely quiet and can be surprisingly powerful. With all this new advanced slingshot technology, David could have probably slayed quite a few more giants. Here we see a hunting laser slingshot that can also be equipped with a flashlight. It can fire arrows effectively as well in addition to pellets. A good old fashioned wrist rocket without the bells and whistles should work great as well. Number 4. Crossbow Crossbows have incredible range and are pitch quiet. While most firearms will set you back at least 500 bucks, you can get a decent crossbow for about 250 bucks. Having silent weapons are a big bonus because a loud noise will most likely attract zombies. This will most likely be one of the best choices for a long range target since some crossbows take longer than others to reload. Consider about 60 yards to be your max distance on the undead targets and be sure to aim for the head. Try adding explosive tips for even more firepower if you got the cash. You can even find a pistol crossbow on Amazon for only $11. It appears to be pretty powerful from demonstrations but you might not want to rely on it for long range. Number 3. The 2010 Volkswagen Touareg Can't afford an armored vehicle to survive the zombie apocalypse? It looks as though you might have to sell for a Volkswagen Touareg which still offers quite a bit of quality for the quality price. If you need some more space and a good off-road vehicle, then a route to go with would be the Volkswagen Touareg. No one would even dare going off-road with an expensive Porsche Cayenne especially in the zombie apocalypse. Many will actually compare these two types of vehicles and some will still take the Touareg over the Porsche. This is because it can simply handle more obstacles that are thrown at it. Some complain a little bit about the seating since it doesn't offer more than 5 seats, but do you really need that much more for a price tag under 10000 Higher mileage versions can sell for as low as $7,500. Number 2. Emergency Thermal Blanket It might be extremely difficult and expensive to have a backup generator to warm your home up when the zombie apocalypse is finally here. The power will most likely go out which means your air conditioner most likely isn't working. What would you do in this situation? It might turn out alright if you get one of these emergency thermal blankets. It can bring you the best of both worlds by giving you the warmth of a blanket during the cold night and also the coolness during a hot day. They're even being used by Uber Eats drivers to deliver hot or cold beverages to keep them at a stable temperature. For only about 10 bucks each, it doesn't seem like a bad idea to have a few of these just in case. Number 1. A Respiratory Protection Mask As of right now, it's believed that the chronic wasting disease or the potential zombie apocalypse virus disease isn't transmitted from breathing it in, but you can't be too careful. It's actually known to remain infectious for many years and stay within the urine and feces of the deer which can make it unpredictable. The soil underneath a rotting carcass is also a known source of contamination and when things get windy, it could possibly end up in your lungs. That's why you're most likely going to need some kind of emergency respirator mask. You should also get one that has antiviral capabilities and not just used for paint spray. This one here goes for about 70 bucks but at least you'll feel safe if the virus becomes airborne. If you wear glasses, you might want to be able to try it on first before making the purchase. You'll also need to buy some cotton filters. Keep in mind this can also make you pepper spray resistant in case writing starts getting out of control. So do you feel more ready for the zombie apocalypse? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications for more zombie videos in the future.